Hey guys. Oh, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> kind of bangs now it's not really trained in the middle so that's kind of um annoying it's me sloth reading on instagram today we are doing a massive book haul i think there's 20 books not sure but this is my april book haul i'm once again filming my phone because i still haven't worked out the camera issue oh well i already filmed this video but it was boring my version of it what i did before and i wanted to do a bit more like put my energy more into the video because I feel like a lot of them have been a bit boring and I just I don't like to watch boring videos so why should you watch this video if it's gonna be boring sort of thing I've got big pile next to me let me count them okay so there's exactly 20 <laughs> I'm poor now um and I do have two more books coming in the mail so I'll quickly talk about that I pre-ordered Aurora Burning a signed copy for $17.50 so I am vibing. I am loving freaking life. That comes, obviously it's pre-order, so that'll come whenever. And I also have on the way a uh, priority of an orange tree, I think it is. $12 on Amazon, but it wasn't in stock, so I don't know when I'm going to get that. And yeah, I've also got heaps of bookmarks and stuff coming. So I might do like a little like bookmark sort of haul or something like that. I don't know yet. Okay, but let's just jump into the books because there's a lot. Okay, so I am a big Harry Potter fan and... The first three books of my haul, Prisoner of Azkaban, which is beautiful. My boyfriend actually gifted this for me because he's lovely. And then I also bought Goblet of Fire and Deathly Hallows because it was three books for the price of two. So I got these two different booklets in the pile, but it's under heaps, so I'm not going to talk about that yet. But basically, I only needed these three books to complete my little series of these covers. So now I have a complete Harry Potter series and I started rereading Harry Potter and now I'm up to Goblet of Fire. So yeah, I haven't really started it yet, but I'm happy. I, I'm vibing. If you don't know what Harry Potter is, uh, Google it. <laughs> there are so many things about Harry Potter. Basically, it's about a young wizard that, you know, find out that he's a wizard. Look what I just found in my book. How cute is that little magnet bookmark? Harry and um, Buckbeak. Anyway, yes, yeah, so those are the first three. It's about Harry Potter and his group of friends, Hermione and Ron, and they're just defeating evil and they're wizards, so yeah. Okay, so the next one I just got in the mail. $5 off Amazon is Girls Paper and Fire. I actually finished it this week in three days. I tabbed it because it is beautiful. Um, Let me know if you guys want an annotation video. I don't know. So yeah so pa girls paper and fire female female romance which i really love and i love the uniqueness of the story but yes i got this and i was gonna read it in may for my tbr but i couldn't stop reading it love that for me so the next lot of books is the first three raven cycle books so the raven boys uh the dream thieves and blue lily lily blue yeah i bought these off my friend uh, they're all hard covers because I originally had The Raven King already because I thought it was The Raven Boys when I bought it at Dimmix because I didn't read it properly. But yeah, so I needed the first three books in the series. Uh, I read up to Dream Thieves. I haven't read the last two, so I'm going to reread the series, but in the hardcovers. Might annotate them, but they're really pretty, so I might not. So I bought this off a friend, so I'm loving life. And look how pretty they look together. Oh, love it. A goal for me for 2020 is three more graphic novels so i ended up buying these two i got heart stopper three by alice oseman because i read the first two i haven't read this one yet but i'm really excited it's really cute and it actually is much thicker than the other ones and the other one is laura jean keeps breaking up with me this was with books with chloe's patreon book club read the art is gorgeous and i just read it in one sitting but it, sadly it was only a three stars even though the art was gorgeous it's just didn't really connect with the book as much as i would have liked but it is really gorgeous like it just black, white, and pink the whole way through. But yeah, so I'm planning to read more graphic novels. I have to read Heartstopper. And if you haven't heard of Alice Oseman, she's a major, awesome author. She's also got uh, YA books such as Solitaire, Radio Silence, which I think you should check out. I got this one off Book Depository. It was really expensive and cut low-key regret it, but oh well. And this one was off Amazon and I only bought it because it was on sale for $12 maybe. I don't know. But Amazon is my life. I literally got Prime just so I can get books quickly. Love that for me. Okay, so I said that before with the Harry Potter books, it was three for two. And the third book I got was The Starless Sea by Erin Morganston. And this was a two and a half star book. Um, It's really, really beautiful, but I just didn't vibe with the restrictions of the plot structure, how there wasn't much of a plot. And I just didn't like the ending. I've got lots of yellow, which means confusing. But yeah, I wish I would have liked it if the ending was a like concrete i think i'm not really good with open-ended was really descriptive and i love the stories i think i marked like the moon and the sun story as my favorite thing the whole entire book oh, the hair's getting in my face i'm just not used to it yet and i really really liked the little stories from the book that zachary reads and if you don't know what this is 
it's about Zachary. Um, he finds like a book and it has like a, one of his memories as one of the chapters and he just gets sucked into an urban fantasy adult book. It's really descriptive and if you love, don't mind like an open-ended sort of book, then I would recommend, but I personally didn't like it. The next two that I got were off Amazon and of course they were on sale, so I bought them. And it is the Curse So Dark and Lonely series. So I got both of them in hardcover because I'm trying to buy only hardcovers for my thing, but only if they're cheap and on sale because I love the look of hardcovers on the shelf. But obviously hardcovers are really expensive in Australia, so that's kind of annoying. But yes, this is by Bridget Kemmerer. It is a uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I love the Court of Mist and Fury, which is Beauty Beast retelling uh, series. And I've heard mixed reviews about this series, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to like it or not. I usually don't have an issue with fantasy books, so I am assume that I'm going to like it anyway. And plus, how gorgeous are these covers? Like... <sighs> But yes, Amazon, um, they were really cheap. I think they were like either $15 each or $20 each, which is cheap for hardcovers, which are usually $30, $40. So that was amazing. And it's like glossy. Oh, love it. So it's the Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom limited like collector's editions, which are like naked hardcovers with sprayed edges. And how gorgeous are they? I recently read Six of Crows and really liked it. I haven't read Cook of Kingdom yet, so I actually bought this before the Six of Crows at a QBD at my local shopping centre. It was $30 and I just needed it because I don't plan on getting the paperback for Crooked Kingdom. I just wanted to get these. I thought I might as well buy Crooked Kingdom and then read it, um, but I didn't and haven't read it yet. And then I saw this for $20 on Amazon, so guess who has a collection now? Plus, no mourners, no funerals. How cute is that? And when you can't beat the odds, change the game. That was really lovely and they look really gorgeous on my shelves now. The next book that I got is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. So it is Assassin's Blade. I've read every single, uh, every other book in the series except for the prequel. And this is on my May TBR. My boyfriend chose it for me. So I kind of needed to buy it. And now my collection is complete and low-key loving life once again. This is about Selena Dust Sardothian and her life as an assassin before the Throne of Glass era. Apparently it's really sad. So I'm kind of scared. And I wish the cover was white so it went with the series. Like Tower of Dawn just sticks out like a sore thumb. But oh well, and I'm really excited because I miss, I miss Selena and everybody. So I'm really excited to hear about the story of Sam. I got this at QBD when I got Crooked Kingdom. Uh, it was $12, so that was pretty good. And this, when I bought those Raven Cycle books off my friend, I also bought Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is Books with Chloe's Patreon read from May. And it is a fantasy sci-fi book about Spencer wanting to be a pilot to fight the alien race that's like invading and attacking them. But something about her dad's actions affected her ability to be a pilot. Um, Apparently he's a really good fantasy author. I've heard he's a little bit problematic, but I don't know why. Oh well, if it's a good book, then it's a good book. And yeah, it's hardcover as well. And look at the inside. How gorgeous is that? I'll be reading that in May. And then I got from Amazon on and QBD. Quarter of Thorns and Roses and a Quarter of Mist and Fury from QBD and a terrible service and the book is broken and half of the spine is on the front cover so that's kind of annoying. This from Amazon and I needed these two to complete my series before the covers changed in June because this is my favorite series and I want to complete the half completed series that I had and then I bought this with Quarter of Thorns and Roses. I did it by accident but I ended up doing a giveaway on my Instagram for Aussies to, to win a copy of this. So, and it's just my favorite book ever. So I thought it was a cool way to do a giveaway for a thousand followers on Instagram. And so, yeah, now my complete collection is complete. It's kind of looking a bit bare because the books are down here. As you can see, that's my second copy of Miss and Fury. And there's one more book left from my little April, well, I wouldn't say little, my April wrap up. And the last book is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass. I already read this book, but this is the only book I was missing in the series. So, and it was $10 on Amazon. So I clicked that buy and now I have a completed series and that just makes me happy. Plus I love this book. Oh. She's just amazing. I loved this book so much and now I got a completed series, which is amazing. That is it for my April haul thingy my bob. I can do a bookmark little haul if you want me to, just let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do that. And then also let me know if you want me to do like an annotation, how I annotate my books video because I, I really like watching those. So thought you might too. Like, subscribe, you know, that sort of thing. Enjoy your day and let me know what type of videos you want next.